rule. Severus most vigorous rule. Okay? Severus, Severus most vigorous rule. Alright? So that's the hell that's gonna be put on Esau and the other nations. Alright? Just, just, just picture what, what we want, what the uh Jesus Dora did, did to the, uh, the Latino tribes, what, what uh, Esau, the so called white man, did to uh, so called Negro tribes. That's what's going to happen to the other nations. Not for you. Can we go into the. Uh, Bible's not all about love, it's about, it's about destruction also. That proves that you don't know the scriptures and you're a damn idiot. Uh, so that's so that's a response a, a demon would say, anyways. All right, yeah, you know? spread the love, brother. That's, 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 that's the mark of a damn fool. All right, spread the love, brother. I'm not your fucking brother, damn. And, and don't, what the scriptures say: He that seeketh love hideth the transgression. All right. So that's a fucking damn demon. Uh, it's Ezekiel nine and four. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst. So this devil, yeah, so that, that's this fucking, right now. This fucking idiot, mark. man. This fucking yeah, idiot. Exactly. He's he, he been marked. He marked. Him. Wish he would have stayed around for this. Well, he was already marked anyway. Okay. Uh, Ezekiel nine and four, and the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sign that cry. For all the abominations that be done in the midst of yeah, see, and the men and the women in these churches, they're not they're not going throughout their congregation, and uh, let's say if you're a homosexual, you gotta leave. Okay, you, if you got a problem with, uh, with alcohol, you gotta fix that. If you're a murderer, and you're still killing people. The church still still you still allows you to continue in all your wickedness. Okay, when you when you uh, can be converted to the truth. You can't continue with your wickedness anymore, okay? You have to convert to the truth. You have to put away the old man, become, become a, a new man, okay? You keep the commandments. It says, set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sign that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of Yeah, and the mark is what? Is our, nation, our nationality. The mark is uh, keeping the law. The mark is uh, recognizing evil, recognizing wickedness. No, when somebody's full of shit. Okay. Like that Edomite that's up here earlier. Spread your love, brothers. That's, that's something the real devil would say. Like the Bible from front to back is just talking about love. That, that, that's the people's main subject, love. And they don't even know what love is. According to the words in this book. According to the words in this book, love is keeping the commandments. That's how he spread love. Yeah, that's, that's, how the, that's how the devil spread, spread to his love. Huh? Good. It says, and to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Smite. Go through, go through the midst of the city and smite. And why, why, why are these people being slaughtered? Because they're not keeping the commandments. They're, they're, defiled, they're, they're defiling the temple. They're, they're worshiping uh, the other gods. And they're making themselves uncircumcised. They join, they join themselves with the heathen. You make yourself uncircumcised by uh, by uh, a straying uh, apostasy, by uh, uh, going away from the law that was given to Moses, Go, going away from the law that was given to our fathers. What? Uh, Ezekiel nine and six: Slay utterly old and young. So the Lord's not present. The Lord's not prejudiced. When it comes to who's being put to death for breaking the commandments. What? Both maids and little children and women. Both maids and little children. Like if the Lord gave it, like, well, history gave an example of that. Okay, we just have an example of that yesterday. The little kids were slaughtered. That's an example of the Lord's vengeance. Yeah, they were kindergartners. It says, this is, this is a fine opera right here. But come near. But this is the curse that's going that's going on Esau too. Because everything that's written that, that was a curse for us, now it's going to be a curse to the so-called white man, a curse to the other nations. We just read that earlier, right? Uh, the Deuteronomy. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, let me get it real quick. Uh, this is Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord thy power 
will put all these curses on yeah. thine enemies. Yeah, that was a curse in Ezekiel 9 and the fourth yeah. chapter that was that was given to Israel. Okay? Now that our iniquities, our warfare is accomplished, the, the, the Lord is going to start pronouncing judgment on the other nations now. Okay? He's been pronouncing judgment. We're just seeing in more and more examples of that until it leads up to the climax. Alright? And the Lord that the climax is the chariots of Israel destroying America and, and the missiles from the other, other nations destroying America. And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecute thee. Huh. Uh, Ezekiel 9 and uh, 6. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children. Yeah, maids and little children. So little children are going to be put to death. Young women are going to be put to death. Go ahead. And women. And women. So women are not exempt. These, these, these bitches can walk around with their fake ass nails and their fake ass hair talk, talking all the shit they want right now. But when the Lord gives the elect that power, we're gonna have the power just like these angels had, okay? Just like just like the, uh, the Levites had when they went through the camp and uh, slaughtered 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 some of the Israelites that we had that bowed that uh, worship the golden calf, okay? The Lord's gonna give us, give us that power. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. Come, huh. and that mark is what we know who we are. Okay, we have the commandments, and we're, we're, we're performing those commandments. And begin at my sanctuary. And we have the name, Yahweh Shemel Shah. And begin at my sanctuary. So every light that's, that's um, it's like all of all the four prophets in Israel, Lord, they're going to be uh, made examples of first. And all the uh, men and women that's in the church that are not teaching the truth, which are all of them, they're going to be made examples of them. They're going to be put to Then they began at the ancient men, which were before the house. That's uh, all I got on that. You better be simple. Jeremiah 25, 15. This is us. 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse uh, 33. God is my strength and power, and he maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet, and setteth me upon my high place. He teacheth my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, so that my feet did not slip. I pursued my enemies and destroyed them, and turned not until again until I had consumed them. That, 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 that's the force that the Lord's going to put in the elect, alright? To, to, to be able to be invincible. It was very early that, that, that we were going to strike through kings. And I, what? and I consumed them and wounded them that they could not arise. Yea, they were fallen under my feet. For thou hast girded me with strength in battle. Then that rose up against me hast thou subdued under me. Thou hast given me the necks of my enemies that I might destroy them that hate me. They looked, but there was none to save, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them as small as the dust of the earth. I did stab them as the mire of the street. Yeah, many were slaughter. They David would come up with a sword, take the head off the arm, stab them to the heart, you know, kick the body down, go through the next one, okay? Or you can do that with two swords, you know, with two different, two different men, okay? And there was no error. She did it perfectly. Thou hast given me the decks of my enemies that I might destroy them that hate me. They looked, but there was none to save, even unto the Lord. But he answered them not. Then did I beat them as small as the dust of the earth. I did stamp them as the mire of the street, and did spread them abroad. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of my people. Thou hast kept me to be head of the head, head heathen. Thou hast kept me to be head of the heathen. A people which I knew not shall serve me. So the other nation is going to serve Israel, okay? Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. As soon as they hear, they shall be obedient unto me. Strangers shall fade away, and they shall be afraid out of their close places. The Lord liveth, and blessed be my rock, and exalted be the God of the rock of my salvation. Yeah, so the actual strangers are going to serve the Israelites, okay? The actual strangers, not the Israelite foreigners. The actual strangers are going to serve Israel. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to be bashing them in the head with the rod of iron. We're going to have them in total subjection. Total subjection. Both their, their mind, their body, and their soul are going to have a lot. 
It is God that's going to belong to us. What? It is God that avengeth me and bringeth down the people under me, and that bringeth me forth from my enemies, that has also lifted me up on high above them that rose up against me, that has delivered me from the violent man. Therefore I will give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and I will sing praises unto thy name. He is a tower of salvation for his king, and showeth mercy to his anointed unto David, and to his seed forevermore. Uh, 2 Samuel 23 verse 8. You know, they are spirits, you know. They don't have any spirits of the property of Israel. <coughs> These be the names of the mighty men of David, mighty men who David had. The, the uh, Tachmanite that sat in the seat, chief among the captains. The same was uh, Adino, the Isnite. He lifted up his spear against 800. Against 800, okay? He did it by himself. 800 men, slew, slaughtered, okay? I mean, he had the angels fighting, he had the angels fighting for him, okay? Angels.